can was that he, he couldn't go back and forth against really good offensive teams. He didn't have the arm twice. Okay. okay. So you guys, for example, you can't go back and forth. He's, he'll get outscored and play. So that's kind of what you want to do, though. I know you want to score every game. I get that. But like a team that admits that and says they can't get in and shoot up, do you have to get out hot on them and put like a big number up early because you don't want to fall into a game like last year? Well, like you say, you want to do that every game, and that's mm-hmm. your mindset. Um, you know, I'm not preparing for anything bad to happen. You know, my mindset is that we're going to go out there and do the things that we need to do to score on every drive. Obviously, things are going to happen where you can't do that. Mm-hmm. But you want to have that mindset. You want to take that mentality in the game, and that's what we're going to do. Does- um, you know, if they're going to do some things to try and stop us, that's typical football, and we're just going to be able to uh, counter attack. Do you find that the teams that hang around longer, especially like them, they become more dangerous as the game goes on? Possibly. Um, you know, that's. I think that would be for a mentally weak team that could creep in the back of your mind saying, oh, shoot, you know, are we going to let this happen? Um, especially after last year's game, but we're not a mentally weak team. You know, we're you know, a lot different than we were last year. We're in a different place. Um, mentally, physically, you know, putting up points, stopping them. We're, you know, we're a lot more rounded team. Is, is maybe the big difference that you can, you can get hot this year? Maybe you couldn't last year. It was harder to do that. Um, no, I think just we're playing better as a team, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, offensively, we are. I think defensively, we are, too. Um, you know, as, even on special teams, all, all three sides of the ball were playing better. So that's, um, we've talked about the difference between this year and last year. We go on and on. It's, you know, I mean, it's just pretty obvious. And this year, we're a good team. We're going to. Mm-hmm. Looking to keep that forward. One more, um, I guess, a difference, but it's a different yeah. story I'm working on, though. Um, your third downs this year, it's not third and eight, third and 11 all the time like yeah. it was last year. How, how much of a relief is that for you? Just you know, to it's good. Going? I think we're doing pretty good on yeah. third and long, too, actually. I think we're pretty about successful. Half, about half of those, too. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Um, when we are in those situations, we are converting them. But, you know, like you said, we're not in that a lot. We're more third and medium, third and short. short. And uh, I, on the season, I don't know what it is. It's pretty high, 50%. probably right at 50, which is, you know, pretty good. Um, and we just got to keep that up and even improve it. Do you think about third downs on first down, second down? You don't, not necessarily, not me out there, especially when we're pushing the tempo. I think that's more for the play calling, you know, play caller to determine that. Um, obviously, you want to be in first down or second down leads you to have a better chance on third down. Mm-hmm. but. You still got to be able to execute the play on first and second down, and that's more what I'm worried about instead of you know looking down the road. Other than throw, other than throwing the ball, what do you think you've what influence you've had on Kevin White's emergence from last year as a receiver? I think we both helped each other. Um, you know, he's not a guy that you're gonna you need to coach and teach up. You know, he's a guy you can work with, and he can help me on what I need, and I can help him on what I see and think. Of, but it's not like. You know, either one of us is taking each other under our wing. We're both working together. Um, we're gelling pretty cohesively, and that's the same thing with Mario and Squirt and all the guys up, up there. You offer help on coverage and stuff like that. If, if we see anything and, and we're wondering, well, hey, if you know, play goes wrong, we'll we'll talk about it and we'll either say, oh, you're right, or I was wrong. And we'll watch film or something like that. But it's never. Um, Anything too serious. How about attitude? I mean, like, yeah. like last year, he probably you know didn't have the greatest attitude because he wouldn't have the greatest year. Uh, how did you, or, or did you, do anything to get him? Well, he he's always he's never really had a problem if you would tell him anything. Even if like last year, maybe at the end, I, I wasn't in the spot where I could tell anyone what to do because I was playing so bad. You know, I'm not going to tell anyone to do it if my stuff ain't good. So. Uh, you know, I was never in that spot, but if, I mean, if maybe I did last year at the end, probably, because um, that's the kind of quarterback I am, if I got onto him or something, he never did have a problem last year. He's not the kind of guy who would snap back or anything. He's either a guy who wants to get better and wants to learn, and um, if someone tells him to do something, he's going to do it, even if it is someone who doesn't know what he's talking about.